Accidental injuries are one of the most common causes of death in children, with more than 2 million youngsters under the age of 15 experiencing an accident each year, all resulting in a trip to the local A&E. Because a significant proportion of A&E visits are due to accidents that could be prevented, and with the summer holidays around the corner, Wirral University Teaching Hospital has teamed up with the Emergency Service Training Centre to stage one of the Northwest's biggest safety awareness shows, aimed at school children in Wirral and Liverpool. Arrow Park Hospital approached us uh, because there's been an incidence of a number of children uh, being seriously injured on railways, roads, uh, as a result of accidents and things like that. And what they decided to do is put a safety awareness show on. It's the first type of show of its kind, if you like. Um, so it was quite spectacular for us to be able to be involved in this type of uh, setup. The good thing about this facility is um, that they've got a lot of live demonstrations here so it isn't just about sitting in a classroom and being taught from a, a PowerPoint or from a slide this is about live demonstrations and allowing the children to see um, some of the, the things that can happen but also how the emergency services deal with them as well as having our own staff from the teaching hospital going through some basic life support as well. I think it's been a really good day for the kids. It's an opportunity for them to come and see um, emergency services in action and it brings it out of the classroom and just makes it all together more practical really. Um, I think it's especially useful just in the run up to the summer holidays when obviously they're going to have a lot more freedom, be independent and possibly face a range of different situations that will um, require them to be a little bit more thoughtful about their actions and the impact that their behaviours have on others. It's been really good and fun and we've learnt quite a bit, like a lot of stuff. And what exactly have you learned today? Uh, we've learned about like the effects of alcohol, like lots of drinking and how it can actually kill you and damage your life. And is there anything in particular that you've learnt from today? Uh, yeah, well the same as Nathan really, but I've learnt about like paramedic stuff and coast guards and all sorts of other about the police back here as well. It quite surprised me how like Last year, I think they were saying that 50% of the calls that they got was hoax calls and they've knocked that down now to about 10%, that very few people do it. Not only will all 1,200 school children get to see inside a custom-built accident and emergency department, they will also be taught basic life support over the three-day event as part of this highly visual, interactive and educational roadshow. From uh, the hospital's point of view, last year we saw around about 21,000 children through our, uh, our emergency department um, and there was a lot of injuries sort of ranging from burns, from fireworks to um, broken bones, from cycling accidents and unfortunately um, some fatalities so it does get to the point where children are actually dying from accidental um, injuries or accidents um, in the home but also around the home and sort of out playing etc in the community. So it, it, it is a, a, significant, um, a significant part of what we deal with at the hospital and also something that we're trying desperately to reduce and working with our partners in emergency services to do that. It's very much about making education fun so if we can say to the kids, you know, you can play with bits of equipment, you can learn what the emergency services do and hopefully if we can keep them out of trouble, um, they may use this as their, their chosen pathway for a career haven't played with the equipment and talk to the staff and see what they feel about their careers. Now this is year one for this programme so what's next? Right what's next well at the end of this we're going to have a debrief and see how we've done. At the moment it seems quite positive and we're getting a very good positive result from people and a response so hopefully we'd like to run this on an annual basis with more and more agencies becoming involved with us. Nathan Griffiths, Beatty for Liverpool.